Hey everybody, Slick Reviews coming at you with another video. On this episode, we're checking out quite possibly one of the nicest case wallet combos for a smartphone that I've ever seen. So what we're checking out this time is a really nice case wallet folio combo. This one is for the iPhone 13 Pro Max because that's the one I have for the next couple hours until my 14 Pro Max shows up, but that's the one we've got to check out here. Now they do similar models and they do this one for all the iPhones, including the new ones. We're going to see if we can get one of those to check out here, but they do these for the iPhone, of course, going back a couple generations and for some of the Samsung phones. Those look a little bit different, but as far as getting a feel for their quality and everything, I think this is a good one to watch regardless of what phone you have. So again, the newest iPhones, back a couple generations, and a couple Samsung models. So go through that link down in the description and check them out. But like I said, just because this one's for the 13 Pro Max, you can still get an idea, kind of the quality you're gonna get. And I can say it's pretty top notch. I've been using this one as my daily driver for a couple weeks now, about three weeks. I've been using this one every single day. And what I kind of like to do is with the folio, I've been putting this on when I go out, if I'm gonna be out for a few hours, going to the state fair or something like that. I've been throwing this on here because what's kind of cool is it's two pieces, but in the back here, there's a bunch of magnets that if you want the folio, you just take this, slap it on the back and just kind of line it up. I like to use the camera cutout to kind of line everything up. And there you go. Now you got your phone folio combo and yes, magnetic closure. That is something that a lot of wallet, you know, case manufacturers leave out. Either there's just nothing here and it's just kind of a folio. I've seen that a lot. Not a lot of them think to put that magnet uh, on there. So I think that's a very nice touch. Well done to Black Book for remembering that because especially when you load up on the front here, there's a bunch of spaces for cards and IDs and stuff. So the bottom has a thumb slider, makes it real easy to get. You get four card slots on the inside here and then another slot for cash or tickets or whatever you want to put in there. Now, if you load all that up, obviously it doesn't sit flush, right? You're gonna have a little bit of a gap sitting there, which is nice that you have that magnetic closure so you can keep everything nice and organized. And then, like I said, if for whatever reason you don't want the folio that day or really whatever, it's easy enough just to open it up and because it's just magnets, you take it, put this wherever you want, and then you can just have a nice case. Now, over at Blackbrook, they do have just these cases if that's all you want. If you decide you never want the folio, you can just get the case. It'll save you about 50 bucks. This combo right now runs about $100. Now that is on the high side for kind of a, a case, right? A phone accessory. But personally, I think the quality that you're getting here is well worth it. This is full grain leather, very extremely nice leather, and the stitching, build construction and everything, it's really top notch. And if you think about if you get like a UAG case or an, even an OtterBox or really anything like that, you're spending probably 40, 50, maybe even $60 anyway. So what you're getting here is really nicely constructed full grain leather, and this will easily outlast your phone, probably at the, at the rate at least I upgrade anyway. So at a hundred bucks, I think that's a pretty good deal for what you're getting, full grain leather and everything. And again, if all you want is just this case, which is what I've been doing, most of the time. It's really only if I feel that maybe I want to leave my wallet at home or whatever, or maybe I'm just in the mood, but sometimes I'll throw this on, but really most of the time I've been running around like this. And that's just personal preference. Now, another thing that I wanted to show you on the folio part here is, if you remember, we checked out their uh, cable organizer a few weeks ago. I'll put that link down at the end if you want to check that out. And that we showed their laser engraving option where you can put your name or really whatever you want on there. But on this one, they sent it over with their monogram option. So you only get a couple characters for that. I put just my initials on the front. You can work with them on location and stuff. I don't think they can do like whatever you want, but just you work with them and you say, hey, I wanna put this here and they say if they can do it or not. And I think it looks really good. It's nice and clean if that's what you wanna do. One thing to consider, of course, with personalization, if you try to resell your accessories when you upgrade or sell your phone or anything, that can kind of hurt resale value and maybe not even be able to if that's the case, because again, this is such a high quality case that it's probably going to be in really good shape if you ever upgrade and want to sell it or something like that. So just something to keep in mind, but if you do want to do the monogram option, 
I think it looks pretty cool. It's usually around 10 bucks and it looks really clean. And the one we have here is what they call burnished tan and it's kind of a nice golden brown color. It's what I typically like if I'm getting a leather accessory. You guys have seen my other stuff here on the channel. I usually go for kind of brown leather. I just like that look but they do have all sorts of different options. They've got different shades of brown, black, navy blue, all sorts of stuff. So again, just check them out through that link down in the description. But overall, highly recommend, again, the build quality on this stuff, full grain leather. I think I've said that like 20 times already, but looking at the case, you know, it's just a case. It's got good front drop protection. It's got a nice lip around the edge, raised protection around the cameras. All the cutouts are where you'd expect. On the bottom, it's nice and just open, which is what I like. I prefer not to have individual cutouts. I'd rather just have the bottom open. That's just me. So it is what it is. The only thing to keep in mind is they do say this, that if you like wireless charging, you just have to be careful because some of them get really hot and they say that that can affect the finish and stuff on the back here. So just keeping that in mind, I haven't tested it because I didn't want to ruin this really nice case. But just keep that in mind. If, if you're one of these people that loves wireless charging, just think about it before you use this case. That's it. So I can't say whether or not it's going to affect anything. It really, I think, just depends on how hot your charger gets. Like if it's a super light speed, ultra fast charger or whatever, it might get really hot and it might affect this and maybe you end up with like a ring or something on the back here and I don't think that would really look good. So anyway, guys, definitely go and check this one out. Blackbrook, I think I'm going to be a huge fan of them from now on. They've got really high quality stuff. Again, check out that cable organizer that we looked at a few weeks ago, but check this one out too. I'll put links for their website, but they're also available on Amazon and a lot of times they're on sale on Amazon. So check that link as well down in the description. What I want to know from you all is what do you think you prefer? Do you like to go just the case or do you like having this leather folio that you can like leave your wallet at home or something like that? Which one do you prefer? Let us know down in the comments. If you have any other comments or questions, please leave them down below. I try to get to every single one. If you'd like to get in touch, all my social media links are down in the description as well. And last, before we go, if you enjoy straightforward, to the point content like this where we find great deals online, please make sure to leave the video a thumbs up and hit that subscribe button. Pretty easy and free ways to help support the channel. That's all I've got for you this time. I'm Zach, this is Slick Reviews, and I'll see you in the next video. This review is completed following three weeks with a product sample provided by the manufacturer. No compensation was provided, and the manufacturer was not allowed copy approval, editorial input, or an early preview. To see more videos like this, please consider subscribing to the channel.